Hey! 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 I bought her ice out for leaks. Ice, yeah. Playing for keeps. Key. Suck up the game, she a leech. Leech. Came in the game with a key. Key. My pockets blew up, Monique. Monique. Ooh. Yo, what's good, child? It's your boy, Mr. Clutch, and I'm back in this. First, before I start off this video, shout out to Vaughn Inky. I got this picture from him. I'm gonna put his channel in the description. But as you can see, I got here are the controls of NBA 2K18. Y'all could pause the video and read it for yourself, or you could just continue reading it while I'm talking. It don't really matter. Y'all could do what y'all want. But a lot of y'all been wondering if they would change the controls like how they did from 2K16 to 2K17 or from 2K15 to 16. But as you can see here, most of the controls are completely the same as last year. And they only made like a couple of changes, like added some controls to certain buttons and stuff like that. But the most noticeable one is receiver control, which is for the circle. I don't know what that is, but I'm pretty sure we're going to find out sooner or later. Next thing, for the right stick, you can take charges. From every 2K before, you can only take charges with the circle button or the B button. I got Xbox, so I'm going to say B. But as you can see right here, there's no major changes in the controls of 2K18. So there's nothing really new that you gotta get used to unless if 2K did something to the gameplay itself where the, where the players move differently or something like that. But as for the controls, there's none that you have to get used to. To me, this is a good thing, but y'all can leave y'all opinions in the comments below. We got into 1K subscribers, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, man. We steady grinding. <laughs>